Hi, it's Jules. I'm going to be doing something completely different than I normally do today. I've spent the entire day uh, jelly printing and my jelly printing plate is a disaster. So we'll see if I can even continue working on it. I did wash it, but anyway. So I thought I would just take you along with me. I'm gonna continue to do a few. My husband is on a motorcycle trip. Uh, we live in Minnesota and he's on his way to California. So this is definitely keeping my mind off of my anxiety about his trip. I just worry, I don't worry about him. I worry about other people hitting him. Anyway, so yeah, so I've spent, I was up at 6.30, been doing this all day. So I've been doing image transfers for magazines and this is all brand new to me. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, having so much fun, and some turn out and some don't. But these will be great to use in my journals, uh, my glue books, my junk journals. And these are the types of images, I don't normally pull these for magazines, so it's also a great way to use up and recycle the images that I wouldn't use. So I went back through and actually pulled out some of my older magazines that I'd already gone through that I just used to glue on and pulled out more images. This one's hard to tell but that's her leg and butt. Anyway. <laughs> so these are pretty cool. So this is my first day doing this. And yeah I think my favorite is that first one. This one's pretty cool. Very, I like the grunginess of it. I like the abstractness of it, the not perfectness of it. Those aren't even, I don't know what those are. And then I've just been doing other types of jelly printing papers as well. Super fun. And so I pulled images, like I said, I went back through some of my old magazines. I have this one in my big glue book, and I might wait. I ordered a bigger jelly printing plate, so I'll probably save that one for that. So some of these might not fit on my little five by seven one I have. This is the only one I have. So, but we'll try these out um, and see how it goes. Some of them might be garbage. <laughs> some of them might be super cool. So I'll definitely speed this up because it does take uh, I like the two colors, like using the black first or darker color first and then going in with a lighter color after the black dries. So that takes about five minutes for that to dry. So I'll definitely cut that part out. Um, I definitely am not doing a tutorial because I am brand new to this. There are plenty of awesome tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. So yeah, let's get started.
So I finished up, these are the ones that I like that I'm keeping. The ones that didn't turn out, um, I'll use those just as, um, I'll use those like in my creative journal, that sort of thing. So um, I think my favorite one is this one. And you can't, it doesn't really show up very well on camera, but that paint, it's iridescent, so, or metallic. It's just super cool. I didn't know if it would turn out or not, but I love it. And then probably my least favorite, well this first one I did, I think my jelly plate was just too uh, clean. There's probably soap or something in it too, but I still like it. It's grungy. I like this. I don't really like this one. I mean, I still like it, but I don't like it. You know what I mean? I don't even, where'd the bird go? I think there's the bird. There was a bird in here. So yeah. This one is also metallic. Super cool. I mean, she's just stunning. But yeah, I just, it almost doesn't even look like her. But I love that one. I love this one. Something gives me like Avril Lavigne vibes from it. This gives me... 80s, 90s vibes, probably early 90s with that checkered. I'm pretty sure I wore a blazer like that in my senior photos. The Lady Gaga one, I don't love it. It's actually probably my least favorite, but it's Lady Gaga. And I know what it is. Somebody else won't know what it is. I think you have to have quite a bit of contrast in the images you use, like the black and the white in her checkered shirt. She had a black hoodie around her and then the background was white black sunglasses, red lipstick, so, and she's white, so there's pretty, a lot of contrast there. Anyway, still love them. I'm going to use them in my glue books, in my creative journal. I just started, let me show you, for those that are still here. <laughs> I just made this the other day out of a composition notebook. It was a dollar. And it's just kind of I have seen a lot of people do journals like this. And so now, yeah, I started yet another journal clue book. <laughs> and this said 2020, and I just crossed it out because that was just a bad year. So let's just cross it off. It didn't happen. And I got this idea from, I think it was Mel Melanie Sullivan, where she wrote down YouTube comments that made her feel good. So that was fun. And then I did acrylic paint on these pages. I feel like this is a journal where I could just be a little sloppier. Anyway, I have like 10 journals going. I will finish them eventually. <laughs> anyway, I loved doing that. That's my first composition book. So here we go. Um, yeah, so that was fun. I, these are, it's a white cardstock and I just cut them in half. It's a normal size and then I cut them in half. So there you go. That was fun. Thanks for watching.